Hey everybody, what's up? So today we're going to be taking a look at some cool accessories for the iPad Pro and the iPad Air 4. I'll also be giving away one of these accessories, so stay tuned in the video to find out which one it is. Big shout out to everybody that's been showing support to my channel. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. So the first accessory we're going to take a look at is this adjustable stand for your iPad. It's from the brand Anozer. If you want to check out any of the accessories I show in this video, I'll leave a link to them in the description below so you can check them out. So what's cool about this stand is you can use your iPad in portrait mode or landscape mode. You can also tilt it in any direction you want to get that perfect view and angle while working at your desk. The stand sits firmly when placed on a desk and doesn't wobble at all, so you don't have to worry about your iPad falling off. Also, the little hooks that hold the iPad in place don't block the screen. One thing I forgot to show in this video is that you can also adjust the height of the stand, which is pretty cool. And thanks to its foldable design, it's perfect for traveling, so you can just fold it up and carry it in a bag wherever you go, so that's pretty cool. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Next up we have the Apple Magic Mouse 2, which is my go-to mouse for my M1 Mac Mini, and it works perfectly on my iPad Pro as well. Gestures also work great without the need for turning on assistive touch. The scrolling is smooth, and you can also set up secondary clicks, so you can right-click on stuff to view different options. You can also do two-finger swipe, as you would on a Mac, to swipe in between pages, so that's a cool feature to have on your iPad. Here's what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Next up we have the Apple Magic Keyboard with the numeric keypad in space gray. I like it for its thin design and that you're able to charge it with a regular lightning cable. The function keys also work great so you can adjust the volume and brightness up and down on the iPad without the need for opening the control center. Typing is also very smooth so combined with the Magic Mouse and the iPad stand, this makes for a great iPad Pro desk setup. If you want more of a laptop experience on your iPad Pro or iPad Air 4, then the Logitech Folio Touch keyboard case is the way to go. It's also a great and cheaper alternative to the Apple Magic Keyboard for the iPad. I love this case so much that I gave away a brand new one to one of my subscribers when I reached 1000 subscribers a few weeks ago. This case offers a lot of protection and functionality. It has a lot of function keys at the top and the keyboard is also backlit, which is very nice. So let's put this iPad Pro in the case and see what it's like. It's pretty easy, it just snaps right in. So unlike other iPad cases, you don't have to worry about Bluetooth pairing or charging this one because it's powered by the smart connector on the back of your iPad, which immediately recognizes the device once it's connected. Now when you talk about viewing angles, this case has them all. Just look at the different ways you can use this thing. This is by far one of my favorite features of the case as it always gives me that perfect view wherever I'm at. The material feels very good and the cutouts are perfect for the camera, microphones, speakers and charge port. Another cool thing about this case is the cutout for your Apple Pencil so you can safely store it on top and charge it. You can also secure the pencil in the flap which offers even more protection so it doesn't fall out and you lose it. So you can just close it up like this and carry it around. Pretty cool, huh? So the built-in trackpad works smoothly. It also supports multi-touch gestures so you could swipe up with two fingers and open the app switcher and also swipe up to close out the apps. You can also swipe left and right between apps with three fingers. So let's open some apps and try it. Pretty smooth stuff. Scrolling on the trackpad is also very smooth. You can also right click on things to open different options as you would with a mouse. It also supports pinch to zoom so you can zoom in and out which is pretty cool. So if you're looking for a much cheaper budget keyboard case for your iPad Pro, here's a great option. The brand is IVSO and they offer it in multiple colors. This case also offers great protection all around. You connect it via Bluetooth to your iPad and the keyboard is also detachable. 
It has a nice set of function keys to work with. However, the keyboard is not backlit and you charge it with a micro USB cable that's included in the box. So there's three different viewing angles on this case. Here's what they look like. And once you find that perfect view, you can just slide the keyboard wherever you want. So since this case doesn't come with a built-in trackpad, this budget mouse from KLO is a great addition to add to this setup. It's pretty much identical in shape and size to the Apple Magic Mouse 2. So if you're used to a Magic Mouse, it should feel pretty similar. I have a separate video on my channel where I show how to customize this mouse in iPadOS if you want to check it out. If I click the scroll wheel, it opens the app switcher, click it again and it closes it. The scrolling is also very smooth. I can right click on things and view more options. And swiping between different pages on the home screen is pretty easy as well. You can also adjust the speed of the mouse with this little button, which is pretty nice. So overall, this makes a great budget iPad Pro setup. Let me know what you think. Next on the list, we got an iPad Pencil from the brand AC Gam, which is a great Apple Pencil alternative. This is a charge port. The pencil is also magnetic, so it will stick to your iPad. You power it on and off with this button and it has palm rejection, so you can use it while your palm is resting on the screen. So it scrolls pretty well. As you can see right here, there's no lag. I could also take a screenshot and kind of draw on it. So if you're looking for a cheaper option, I'd definitely take a look at this one. Let me know what you think. For screen protection, I'm using the LK screen protector. It comes in a pack of two. It fits my iPad Pro perfectly and offers great protection. Which screen protector are you using? Comment and let me know. Next up, we have a 6-in-1 USB-C hub. The brand is Base US. What's cool about this hub is it snaps right onto your iPad. You get a HDMI port, TF card slot, SD card slot, USB-C port for charging, a headphone jack, some nice cutout for your speakers, and a USB 3.0 port. So that's a lot of useful stuff in this tiny thing. This part here just fits right over your iPad. So let's take a closer look. So you'll just gently slide it on there like so, and then plug in the USB-C cable, and that's it. Let's bring this closer and show you what it looks like. So once it's connected, you get this little white light on it. That's how you know the dock has power. This looks great and I'm sure it will come in very handy for most of y'all watching this video. Now for the giveaway. If this video gets 1000 likes, I'll pick a random winner from the comments and give you a brand new one of this hub. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. So if you don't want a hub that attaches to your iPad, here's another great option. This is a 6-in-1 USB-C hub from the brand Lionway. It looks pretty good. I've had it for a while now. You get three USB 3.0 ports, a TF card slot, SD card slot, and an HDMI port. You just simply plug it in and then you can connect all your other accessories to it. So full disclaimer, these two products right here were sent to me for free from the brand Uni so I could check them out. So nothing biased around here, just pure honest reviews. So first we have a multi-port USB-C adapter. You have a USB-C port for charging, an HDMI port, and a USB 3.0 port. The space gray color also goes well together with this iPad Pro. So you just plug it in like this and connect your external devices. Next up, we have their 10 feet Type-C USB cable with this nice nylon braided material. I don't know about you, but this cable will come in extra handy for me because if you're used to that cable that came with the iPad Pro, then you know it's almost impossible to charge your iPad and use it at the same time with such a short cable. So this 10 feet cable will make a huge difference for me. My iPad Pro is the 64 gigabyte model, so this is a great way to expand the storage with an external SSD. This is my 500 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme. It's the older generation, so I'll leave a link in the description to the newer generation that has faster speeds. It also comes with a Type-C USB cable and a USB-A adapter. So let's plug it in, and if we go to Files, you will see it pop up. So let's tap right here. 
give it a couple of seconds. So there it is, it shows Extreme SSD. So if you work with a lot of large files on your iPad Pro or iPad Air 4, then this is a great option for you. So if you want to use your iPad on an external display like this, you can use a USB-C to HDMI cable. This one is from Uni, it's 6 feet long and does 4K up to 60 Hz. On my external display, I'm using their display port to USB-C cable to connect to my iPad Pro. I like the feel of the nylon braided material. They also come with these nice straps so you can keep the cables nice and organized. So that's pretty cool. So if you're looking for a great budget ultra wide monitor to add to your iPad setup, this 29 inch LG is a great option. It's a 75 hertz refresh rate display with HDR10 and has two built in 7 watt speakers. As you can see, scrolling is smooth on both the monitor and iPad Pro with no lag. So this is a great option, especially if you edit videos on your iPad Pro or iPad Air 4. If you enjoy playing games on your iPad, trust me, the experience is a lot better with a controller. This is my Xbox One controller. It connects to the iPad via Bluetooth and I can use it to play games from the App Store that has controller support. So here's a quick demo. It works very well. So if you have an Xbox One controller laying around, here's a great way to put it to use. So if you don't want to spend $550 on some headphones, Here's the Sony WH-CH710N wireless noise cancelling headphones. You have your volume controls here, your power button, USB-C port for charging, and you can use it with a regular headphone cable. The build quality and sound quality is also very good. So this is definitely a great option, so definitely check it out. If you do a lot of voiceovers on your iPad, the Blue Snowball Ice is a great microphone. I'm using it right now to record the voiceover on this video. I'm using it on this boom arm from the brand AOKO along with this pop filter that I had from another microphone. It's pretty nice, just adjust it however you want. Now if you're wondering, but Lamar, that's a USB microphone, how do you connect it to the iPad? Here you go. I use this USB-C to USB-A adapter from Nanda. It comes in a pack of two and I just plug the USB-A end into it like this. Then I plug the USB-C end into my iPad. So that's how you connect regular USB-A devices to your iPad Pro or iPad Air 4. These Bluetooth Logitech MX Sound 2 speakers are awesome. I've been using them for quite a while now. So if you want to add some great speakers to your iPad setup, definitely check them out. So if you want to go into complete chill mode with Netflix on your couch or in bed, this iPad pillow from Antel is a must have. It provides multiple viewing angles, you can lay it on your lap or wherever and enjoy your favorite shows. It's also available in multiple colors, so that's pretty neat. You also get this little pocket thing on the side for your phone and a nice little handle so you can carry it around. So what are your favorite accessories from this video? Comment and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with a friend, comment down below and let me know what you think, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. As always, thanks for watching and peace out.